things are getting serious. Maybe we're going to get to run it tomorrow. That old wind's blowing, whipping. Maybe it's going to help dry this ground out. I think we're just going to close our eyes and go tomorrow. We're fixing to put our uh, needle mag tips on. Get it ready to stream some wheat. I am ready. Maybe this wind will blow all night. And we won't have no big frost in the morning to melt off. I'm hoping to start about maybe one o'clock tomorrow. Give this ground as much time as possible to dry. And uh, man, I'm, I am ready to put some nitrogen out with this thing. Getting getting excited. Even old Robert, even old Robert said he's feeling the itch. So you know it's time if Robert's feeling the itch. Share some words of wisdom with us, Robert. What you're doing? Well, we're taking off the. Uh, I think they're called, we're dicamping tips. Taking them off. So uh, put our shapers stream bars on. I told them that you were starting to feel the itch, Robert. Is that true? It is. It's 60 degree weather. Makes you emerge from the shop. Yeah. Been like, let's do something. We always busy in the winter, but it always seemed like we got to a certain point that winter just dragged on and on forever. And now we're to the point where it feels like you blink your eye and winter's gone, and you just don't have any time to get your winter projects done anymore. Well, we got them on there. The only thing I ain't gonna like about this new sprayer, I mean, I like that the nozzles are kind of protected, but we're gonna have to take them stream bars off when we get to ready to spray burn down. We're not gonna be able to leave them on there like we done with the Patriot. See, our old Patriot was like this right here, which we got these rubber bands on them there. That keeps them from, from turning. They hold each other together there. I only do that out here on the outer wings because that's about the only place we have trouble with that. So we're back on day two here what we're doing uh, we've run uh, we've run tank cleaner through our sprayer here put our tank cleaner in and run it out the sprayer now we're cleaning the strainers to make sure there's no contamination in it and then the next step's going to be putting nitrogen in it. Well, next step, after we get these strainers clean, we're going to run probably two, three hundred gallon of uh, rinse water through it to rinse out any leftover tank cleaner. Uh, and we should be ready to go to put our fertilizer in it and, and run. Than the uh, old Tyler Patriot we had. I made this little adapter to use our water hose so we can rinse out up here at the shop. It's a lot easier just to turn the water hose on and off as compared to having to crank a as compared to having to crank a motor on a water trailer and stuff. Now, I tell you what, oh Mr. Paul down there, Paul Small Engines. If you're in West Tennessee. Or close to Dyersburg, Tennessee, and you got little little motors. I tell you what, that sun gun made that. I I don't think that motor ran that good when the sun gun was new. You, Robert? About two pulls, 
Right, it been sitting in the shed all winter, and how many pulls did it take you? After he realized the gas was off. Y'all took a little tumble. Robert had y'all riding out there on the boom. Tuesday, February the 7th, and we are out here fertilizing wheat with our new to us John Deere 4630 sprayer. And first impressions are we should have done this a long time ago. We should have got one a long time ago. I think he is in heaven with this sprayer. He said he actually likes spraying again, so, uh, so yeah, we're uh, pretty tickled with it so far, even. Uh, uh, we done sprayed one load with it, and we did put, our monitor said we was putting out right, but we did put out a little too much, and come to find out was that um, he was drawing his boundary around it and still getting used to it, and um, he just over applied on that first round, but that's okay, he's done got it figured out now, and um, so we should be ready to go, he's... Um, we done got this 46 acres run behind us, uh, fixing to jump across the road to those uh, to the wheat that we drilled behind uh, wheat and double crop beans last year. Uh, the last wheat we drilled, so uh, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But um, that's where we're headed next, and uh, it I thought it's going to be a little bit wetter in this ground, no-till the corn stalk ground. Uh, Everybody ask why we're no uh, why we no till our wheat instead of work it in. This is why because uh, you're able to get on your ground faster fertilizing, and um, you don't make near a mess. We made two tracks, and that is only because we found the holes 
that where we buried, where we did all the track hole work, we found the stump holes, and um, where we buried all that stuff. And our line just happened to run right between, uh, right over the top of two of them. So that's just our luck. But uh, luckily, um, she came out of it. Uh, she grunted a little bit, but she had enough ponies that we did not get stuck. We we was scared there for a minute, but she pulled on out. But uh, they wasn't deep ruts neither, but we found them. But uh, we're going to walk up here or go get on the gator and go get the charger for his iPad. We did get our climate to work, climate field view. So we are documenting all this. So right there's our tracks. I mean, we're cleating it up a little bit, but I mean, it ain't terrible. I mean, if you can run like this, with the weather that we've been having and that's all you leave, yeah, you're doing all right. That's uh, one of the reasons we know till right there. Ignore the wide spot.
We had too much to get done before we started. Those, uh, getting those first day kinks worked out of everything. This sprayer stands up really well. This spray, I mean, this ground, uh, it's firmed up a lot of days today, but it is still plenty heavy. I have left very few tracks. About the only place it'll leave a track is where the wheat is standing. I mean, where water is standing.
got her sitting in here in the shop idling, letting the turbo charger cool off. I always like to let them, always like to let them idle and uh, cool down a little bit there for we. Should have done my job summary today. I should have hit that, but said we paid 219.7 acres today.